Real now is Bruce Friedrich. He is the vice president of campaigns for PETA. I have to tell you, Bruce, you and I really don't agree on very much. I don't like the campaigns and PETA, and I think you guys get a little out of control. However, I got to call a spade a spade. When you're right, you're right. The UN study says that um, the uh, that animals actually cause more greenhouse gases than than anything you can do with a, with an SUV. And you should be a vegan. And yet, somehow I, I think, or another, we're not, we're not hearing that message. I, I think, Glenn, that you and I might have more in common if we were able to sit down over a beer and talk about our various well, philosophies. See, I don't but, drink. Well, <laughs> okay, so, so may, maybe not. But uh, <laughs> All right. si seriously, the United Nations, as you just said, they say that the number one cause of greenhouse gases is raising chickens and pigs and other animals for food. We're chopping down the Amazon rainforest. Last year, Greenpeace unveiled a massive banner in the Amazon. It said, KFC, Amazon criminal because they're chopping down the rainforest to grow soy to feed to chickens and pigs and other farmed animals. Any issue that you care about environmentally, according to the scientists, from the smallest issue to the largest issue, funneling crops through animals in order to eat animals is one of the top three causes. And with, green, with global warming, it's the number one cause of global warming. So, so like you said, if you're serving meat at these massive concerts, you know, this is the easiest thing you can do. Make the concerts vegetarian since this is the number one cause of global warming. So why, Bruce, first of all, is Al Gore a vegan? No, I don't think that he is, and he doesn't address it in his movie so either. So why? And what, that leads you to believe that, and I'm not saying this is true, but it leads you to believe that this is bogus, that he doesn't believe it, because this is the easiest thing for you to do. Yeah, it's, it's very hard to imagine. Anybody who says buy a Prius or change your light bulbs or whatever else for the environment and they continue to munch down on chicken nuggets and hot dogs and burgers, which all of the scientists agree, from the UN to the University of Chicago to the University of Bristol in U the UK, all of them agree that growing crops to feed the animals, to raise animals so that we can eat the animals, it's causing water pollution and soil depletion and air pollution and greenhouse gases. I mean, it just makes no sense sense to grow all of these crops, so to feed it to animals, to raise animals, to eat them. Environmentalists should not be contributing so to these sorts of So then why are they problems. not touting this? Why are they not saying, have you gone to, to Al Gore and his people and said, why aren't you doing this? What is their response? Yeah, we've gone to Al Gore. Many other people have gone to Al Gore. It's tough to understand. Like you said, I don't want to cast doubt on his motivation or the motivation of environmental groups who send out a fundraiser saying 20 things you can do to save the environment. And the number one contributor to environmental problems, including global warming, isn't even listed on the, uh, isn't even on the agenda. You know, I'll leave it to, to your viewers to decide how that can be. I've got to tell you, Glenn Beck and PETA with Bruce Friedrich, strange bedfellows, but... Hey, Glenn. Got to do the truth wherever you find it. Yes, Bruce. Let me just toss out, for people who want more information on this issue, please check out our website. It's just PETA.org, P-E-T-A dot org, and give it a little bit of thought. If you care about you the it. environment, don't pay people to pollute it. Okay, you got it. Thanks, Bruce. Uh,